Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. Today we're going to make a pink jebra, which is also a type of daisy. This flower is very easy to make. It is very suitable for all beginners. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for our weekly tutorials. If you like what we're doing, you can also join our not so secretive community on Patreon. Link in description. First of all, we need to cut the petals out according to the template. In this flower, we're using the linking petals to make into the flower center. Try to cut as accurate as possible. Next, we're going to curl the petals. Cut the linking petals into smaller segments, approximately 6 to 7 petals per segment. Curl the linking petals with the tweezers. Take a towel or a t-shirt for curling individual petals. Take out a small paintbrush. Use the brush end to curl each petal. Bend the bottom 0.5cm for attachment. Do the same to all the linking petals. Next, the big petals. Curl the petal in general, then use your fingernails to form a little hook on the tip and gather the paper at the bottom, so it's fat on the top and slim at the bottom. Do the same to all big petals. Take three wires together as your flower stem. Wrap the wire with a strip of olive green crepe paper. Now we're going to make the flower center, add the hot glue to the strip and keep rolling on top of the flower stem. Remember when you roll the flower center, the top of each layer has to align with each other. Add a nice strip on top. Then we can add the petals to the center. Add the glue to the bent attachment section and attach the center. You can choose between yuhu glue or hot glue. Cut the petals into smaller segments if needed. Keep going around for five layers with the first linking petals. Attach each layers closely together.
After the fifth layer, attach the second linking petals slightly higher than the last five layers. Next, we just add the petal 3 around the center for two layers. Some can be longer and shorter, add them slightly irregularly. It is very flexible on how they are attached. I prefer the petals are in irregular lengths, so the flower looks more natural. Lastly, add the petal 4 as the last layer. Try to place them in between the gaps. It should look like this. Now we're going to cut some bottom leaves to hide our flower bottom. Attach them with some yuhu glue. Remember to place the leaf half on the flower bottom and half on the stem. Wrap the leaves to the stem with an extra piece of crepe paper.
after order making, the flower can get a bit squashed. Adjust the petals towards the flower center. Then we are going to make a few leaves to decorate the stem. If you need a full detail on how to make the crepe paper leaves, you can check our crepe paper leaf tutorial. Simply wrap the leaf stem to the flower stem. And we are done. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you will like it. If you like it, please don't forget to comment and subscribe to our channel. It will really help our channel to grow. Stay tuned for our weekly tutorials. And all our DIY kits and templates are available on our website. Check them out. See you guys next week.